Hey guys, welcome back. Week 15 is where we're at now. Um, and we're continuing on our chemistry experiments. And this week we are making a magic solution, um, which is super fun. So one warning, this week we are using eggs. And so it is tutor, tutor demonstration only um, due to any possible egg allergies out there. Um, unlikely to have any that would be um, allergic to just touching the egg, but um, we don't want to take chances. So tutor demonstration only this week. You can play around with the experiment um, afterwards if you want, but again, I want you only to touch the eggs, just to be cautious. Um, so um, we're making a magic solution. The word of the week is density. Density is the amount of a physical substance or being that will fit into a certain volume. So the amount of matter or mass of a, an object that will fit into a specific space or volume. Density is measured in um, the amount of something divided by the volume. For example, these are nine ounce cups. I have about seven ounces full of water. Let's say that the seven ounces full of water weigh about 14 grams. So let's say we have 14 grams of water per seven ounces uh, in a cup. And so the density would be 14 grams per seven ounces or two grams per ounce um, would be kind of how you say the density, if that makes sense or helps kind of solidify the idea more. So again, it's how much matter or mass fits into a space or volume. Um, the more, so we've learned about molecules and that all matter is made up of molecules and atoms. So the more molecules and atoms that are squished together in a specific space, the more dense that substance or object is and the heavier it's going to be. And so the less molecules that are a specific object or liquid, then the less dense it will be. For example, many of you have probably seen this um, or something like this. Please forgive my um, non-equal and equal um, liquid amounts here. Um, I just used what I had at home and this is great to do like in a little mason jar um, and is a great visual for density. Here I have vegetable oil up top, colored water, um, dish soap, and then honey. Um, so honey, you can see, has fallen on the bottom here. It is the most dense. There are the most molecules packed into that honey, um, causing it to have more density and to fall to the bottom. Dish soap is the next, has the next most dense, is the next most dense. Um, next is colored water and then vegetable oil oil is the least dense or has the least amount of density. Um, so the molecules are lighter or um, not lighter, but less of them squished together um, in a particular space. Again, making it less dense. And so they create this layer. Um, and when something is less dense, it will float or be squished out of the way from all these compacted molecules and these other more dense liquids. So today, that's what our experiment is testing and discussing. Um, you'll start off with the same cups we've been using. Um, they'll be empty, and then you want to fill them with water, about three quarters full, and you want them to be equal. So these cups are pretty easy because they have little lines on them. So you want to show them you're starting off with equal amounts of water, okay? Now in cup A here, we are going to put, I put a half a teaspoon, of milk, you can see it's not a lot. And really the purpose of this is to make our solutions look kind of similar. So you're gonna put your half a teaspoon of milk in cup A here, and you just kinda of want it to be chalky looking. And then in cup B, we're going to put three tablespoons full of salt. That's a lot of salt. So for my tutors, this will be um, previously measured out. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. So three tablespoons of salt, and then we're gonna stir it up. So again, just looking at these two liquids 
and the kids watching what you just did. Um, who thinks that one of these liquids um, has more density than the other? Um, who thinks they're the same? Uh, and again, we know density is the amount of molecules squished in a space. So if we have these nine ounce cups, and this one we had water and we added some milk, and this one we have water and we added three tablespoons of salt. So which one of these do you think is more dense? Kind of talk about that for a minute, compare it to these liquids that you have here. As a visual, um, you know, looking at this, which one of these liquids is more dense? Um, and so you're kind of going to compare that, get their hypotheses or thoughts on that. And so your liquids are kind of similar um, as far as in color. Now you've added a lot of molecules to this. And as we know from last week's experiment, um, there are two types of matter cannot be in the same spot. And so adding all that salt did raise our level um, uh, in our cup. That's why it looks a little different level wise. All right, so now we have two eggs we're gonna test these liquids with. Again, we've talked about comparing the two liquids. Which one do you think is more dense compared to the other? And now we're gonna talk about these eggs. Um, which one of, you know, do you think um, that what will happen when these eggs, when I put these eggs in the solution, what do you think will happen? Um, do you think they'll sink? They're pretty heavy. These are actually large eggs. Um, do you think they'll float? Do you think they'll stay in the middle? Um, do you think they'll be different or the same? So talk about that for a little bit and then start with one. So we're gonna start with the egg and the milk solution and see what happens. Hmm, it's a little bit hard to see on the video, but the egg sunk right to the bottom. Um, and so didn't even hesitate, went right to the bottom. So this tells us the egg, the matter, and amount of uh, matter, which is the mass of this egg in is greater than the milky liquid. So it fell or is more dense. Now let's do it in the salt liquid and see what happens. Ta -da! So if you can kind of see my egg is floating on top. And so um, what does this tell us about the salt solution? Well, it tells us that the egg is less dense, even though an egg is pretty heavy and compact, full of um, molecules and matter, it is less dense than that concentrated salty solution. Uh, makes me think of if um, you've ever heard people talk about a really salty um, being in a place with the ocean where you just easily just float. The salt concentration is so high um, that people just float really easily because our matter, or the mass that we have is less than um, the density of the salt water. So same thing for ducks. You know, how do ducks float? Well, this, when they're spread out, their body sitting on the water, their body is less dense than the density and the, the molecules, all those water molecules underneath of them, so they float. However, when they want to get a fish, they can turn their body straight down so that they're only on this tiny area of, or volume of water. And so then their body actually becomes more dense and they can pull it down below um, the water. So they become more dense um, than that small volume or area of water um, and can dive down. So again, you can play around with this, um, play around with the liquids if you want. Make sure kids don't touch the eggs, wash your hands afterwards and enjoy um, this word of the week density.